MPP members of parliament, and it was signed on their behalf by the second deputy majority whip, Honorable Alex Tete Jodubua. In fact, both requests were signed by him. Honorable members, I had under the dictates of the provisions of the Constitution to issue the summons for you to be here today. And I duly complied with the constitutional provision and got the administration to get the summons published to the notice of all of you. Unfortunately, the signatories who made the request have not shown up, and therefore, matters that they wanted us to handle, which are admitted for the consideration of the business committee, are not on the other paper, and in fact, there's no other paper for today because the business committee could not meet due to the absence of the people who requested for the recall. And as you can see, one side of the house is completely empty. In view of this, we have, as usual, got a quorum to sit, but we have no business before us to transact because the business committee, as you know, they prepare a report and this report is adopted by the House as business agreed by the House to transact during the course of the week. In the absence of that, there is no other authority that can put business before you which you have not adopted to transact. In view of the failure of the business committee to sit as a result of the refusal of those who requested for the recall to show up to once again adjourn the sitting of the House. Knowing the challenges we are facing, it is not advisable to be adjourning from day to day. And so I will proceed once more to adjourn the meeting indefinitely. And the meeting, this extraordinary meeting, is accordingly adjourned. So currently, the situation thick and fast, very fluid, and Alfred, yeah. um, was this predictable? Very much so. Very much so. Why is that? Because, I mean, it was quite clear right from the, the get-go this morning that this was the only option that the speaker would have to adjourn again Senate here. Because the NPP caucus even though they were the ones who triggered this recall of parliament with their deputy whip, in fact, the, the whip as well, all signing that memo to the speaker 
to have him recall the house today. They are not in the chamber. So even though it's the MPP that triggered this recall, to the extent that the MPP... Because it's not in the chamber, they, they don't have the numbers.